hour of daylight. So this is a 10 inch lag bolt. I think I overdid it. Oh, that does not look good. Safely lower it to the ground. That's the plan anyway. Here we are at Lowe's. It's crazy that this is the only place in like, I don't know, like an hour's drive that actually has this lumber that we need. Well, the website says it has the lumber. Let's go find it. Oh my gosh, that was a lot of effort. Those boards are not white, but, Find the longer wheel base of this truck really paid off. So we've got 16 foot boards on the top of a 19 foot truck. And the, uh, the, the bed rack is really helping. So I just got to get this back to, uh, back to the house. And then we can start disassembling the existing steps. Okay, I need a bit of a helping hand. And as I don't have any, I am going to use some straps to hold everything in place. So it doesn't fall down. And now at the stage where I need to deal with some rather long pieces of unwieldy timber to uh, get the old, riot, uh, the old stringers down. So I'm gonna use these uh, ratchet straps to hold everything in place so that uh, I don't get injured. Fingers crossed. All right, so we have a ratchet strap securely around the, uh, the stringer, which is now attached to the, uh, the fence post at the top. So I'll at least hold it while I manage to cut through this section here and safely safely lower it to the ground. That's the plan anyway. goal is to keep the next one as intact as possible so that I can use it as a template for the new stringers. It's also interesting that as I'm carefully trying to set these down I'm just uncovering more and more that needs to be replaced. For example this piece here at the top of the stairs I really wouldn't trust that with my nice new stringers so we're gonna replace that as well. When we're done, we'll have a whole set of brand new stairs.
So the bit that I thought was going to be the hardest was relatively straightforward. And thankfully, some of the other pieces that I've left up there are not too bad in terms of any rot. So they look in fairly good condition given the fact that they're 25 years old. So I'm going to get this stuff cleaned up, get the junk in the truck, then depending on what time it is, I might start trying to template out one of these boards. Okay, it is just about 3.30 and given that it is the middle of November, believe it or not, uh, I only have another hour of daylight. So I'm hesitant to get started on anything else because it's going to get dark and it's going to get cooler. It's only 9 degrees as it is, but it's going to get a bit cooler. So one thing I'm going to do is tidy up. Tomorrow we can get the stringers made, get the supports made. We have all the hardware. We have um, all the extra stuff we picked up today. We've got some nice good bolts. So the other one was all just uh, together with screws. So we're going to really over engineer this. Uh, so it's going to be screwed, bolted and anchored to anything and everything. So today, uh, I'm going to try and make some more progress on these stairs. I think I'm going to have to double check those supports that we have, that we're going to be leaning the stairs against, uh, just to make sure that they are actually going to be solid enough um, and they're not rotten, because now will be the time to replace them, if we have to. So I'm going to do that first. Then, uh, second task this morning is to try and cut some stringers. That does not look good. That's gonna need to be fixed. I want the other one. That one seems pretty solid. But this one. Because uh, to get this, we just gotta take this off. Every time it's always just one more thing. Like that Columbo, the old detective series. Just one more thing. Alright, I got a little wasp nest here. And another one here. And at the back there. And <laughs> dun, dun, dun. oops. So I'm going to say here, three little screws holding that on. Oh, the other one. About there. One, two, three, four. Yeah, about six, six years ago, I replaced these, uh, the main posts holding this deck up. They were all rotten at the bottom. And as I got to the bottom, I was taking them out. There was between three posts, there were four nails holding them in place. It's crazy. Now I've got to figure out if I have uh, enough lumber to make a couple of extra supports. Okay, so I'm going to replace those two supports because the top seems pretty decent, but the bottom is pretty weather-beaten. And I don't want to have to come back and do this next year or the year after. So we're going to replace them. If I can find some lumber to do it with...
little screws in there just to hold it in place for now. And uh, we'll see what putting that carriage bolt through the middle there just for a bit of extra support. Okay, now obviously this is a structural thing or building and it's made of wood and we live in an area which is actually a rainforest. Um, so we want to try and protect this as much as possible and I have some deck sealer. So any uh, exposed cuts or, or exposed areas that we find as we go along now, as we're reassembling, I'm going to cover in some deck sealer to at least give it a fighting chance over the winter until we can get to paint it properly in the spring. My next thing is I want to secure that plate and I, what I'm going to do is use a lag bolt to go straight through uh, into the main deck structure. Now, I picked up this one. I think this one might be too big for the simple reason I don't have a, a drill bit long enough uh, to, to put a pilot hole for this. Um, so this is a 10 inch lag bolt. I think I overdid it. Uh, but this, these will be used to come through the other side uh, into the stair stringers so that we can batten it all together. Now, usually I keep uh, spare bolts from other projects. That's not long enough. Um, and the reason I want to use a lag bolt for this is uh, I want to use lag bolts in a couple of different places on the, on the construction because of the, the sheer weight capacity that these bolts can hold. Now, looking at these lag bolts that I got last time, or the other, the other day, uh, this is a 10-inch lag bolt. And from the research I was doing on these, uh, this thing can uh, hold uh, up to, I think it's 20, 21,000 pounds of uh, pull. Um, okay, Matt, let me just stop you right there, okay? This is why you need to check multiple sources before you start putting information in videos. Checking one random website that you Googled while you're just sat there in the garage really doesn't help anybody. There is no way these bolts are going to hold thousands of thousands and thousands of, of pounds of weight. So, just to correct you, on a most recent Google search, they, the, the lag bolts or lag screws is actually what you buy in your hand now. A lag screw can hold approximately 272 pounds per inch of thread if you're talking about pulling it vertically. And in terms of sheer weight, uh, let's check this other website. Uh, Lag screws are not tested for sheer weight, but they're typically between uh, 2,200 pounds based on the, the actual screw thread up to 3,900 pounds for an unscrewed thread, okay? So let's just tell everybody to check with your manufacturer before they actually start using these things for construction purposes, okay? Pretty, pretty overkill. Anyway, uh, I digress. Um, what I need is, do I have... Any oh yeah, I think that might work. I want to go through at least two of these and then into the stair structure. So if I recess this a little bit, I'm going to get at least an inch and a half anchored into there. I think that should do it.
so we are lag bolted in. That's all done. Now I did pick up some carriage bolts and these are to go through the, uh, the top plate and into the hanging support brackets or support pieces just to provide uh, a little bit of extra um, uh, support rather than using regular screws. And I've just measured them and the ones I got were just a fraction too long. So they're not, uh, because they're only threaded so far down the, down the shaft, the, um, the, the actual uh, width of the lumber that we've got is going to be kind of, kind of come up to about there. So it's not actually going to be able to screw tightly into, uh, into place. I can carry on without them for now and we'll just add them in when we're done at the end. But I'm hungry now, so I'm gonna go to lunch. I think we're finally ready to start building these stringers. So to tidy up, make the templates and cut the stringers. The motor is blocking my guard. Wouldn't you know it, flat battery. Okay, so a flat battery on the saw means that that's probably it for today because right now I just need to do lots of cuts. I've still got a full stringer to do plus half of that other stringer that I started. It's three o'clock, it is getting cold. It's gonna be dark in an hour. It's Sunday. I'm going to call it quits. I'll see you tomorrow. It's been ripped off in the windstorm. <laughs> I don't know where it is. The predicted snow arrived. It is minus two. Uh, I think that's pretty important given the fact we might be getting more rain and more snow. It's the story of our lives.